there are a lot of different ways to play the crash cymbals in marching band and in concert band. Let's just give you a few fundamentals in case you haven't played them in a while. First of all, it's good to use a trap stand or a cymbal cradle to hold your cymbals. You might need a break after holding them for a long time. Please don't set them on the floor. Let's start with the grip. Grip the strap with your fingers and palm and use your thumb over the top of your index finger to help control the cymbal. The cymbal should rest against the knuckles of your first two fingers. This gives you control of both cymbals. The general principle is to move one cymbal and hold another. This works in most circumstances. Generally, you want to match the edges up, but you don't want them to hit at the same time. Your follow-through can affect the sound of the cymbal as well, whether you either pull straight away or slide the cymbals away. There are several different theories on playing the cymbals. Some prefer to hold one over the other. Some prefer to play them vertically, moving downward. Or upward. In all of these cases, it's important to match the edges up, but not at the same time. You want a sound that goes karash, not one sound. Following through can let the cymbals ring for a very long time. Dampening the cymbals is simple. Use either your stomach or your sides. Very rarely does cymbal dampening in concert band mean to do this. That's a special effects sound. You want to avoid using the marching band open hand grip, as this mutes a lot of the cymbal. I want to thank the folks here at Lone Star Percussion in Fullerton for helping me out with today's video. This is a great place to go and is a great source for everything that you need, very close to you.